Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we definitely are slightly upset at the galactic information on Taunt. They keep attacking us and uh, it, it keeps being slightly problematic. We do need to build a generator district here on Vinjim. We are a little bit low on our energy credit generation. Everything else is actually fine at this point, including our volatile moats, surprisingly. We managed to get that under control before the attack happened anyway. Now, here's the thing. I don't think that we end up defending against everything that's coming in, right? Like, if we look at all of this that's coming in here. Engaged. Yikes. I don't think we end up defending against this when we're this spread out. So we're going to give up on these outer areas. We're going to meet up around here in Kornagi. And we're going to try to concentrate our force. We're not going to try to do an active defense of our stations here. Because I don't think there's really a point. So we're going to finish up in the fact system. Yeah, we eliminate that without any real problem. But we need to eliminate this. Up in Vernier, this is going to be done pretty soon. What is the... Uh, oh, that's being colonized? Low army strength out over here. So I think we bring our transport fleet into Vernier right away, and we get this taken care of. Now I'm going to send one of our fleets up this way. The other fleet, which is going to be the second contract enforcement fleet, is going to head down this direction into Utah. And once there... In fact, no, we won't head into Utah. We're going to head into Wue. There's no point in going into Utah. Since that connects directly here. So we're going to do this for now. We're giving up on these areas. We're walking away from them and we're waiting for these guys to split up a bit because they have a lot of forces here, right? So we're just walking away from that. And primarily the major issue is that there's just so many people here in this federation. I'm a little surprised that they're able to get them all to vote for this, to be honest, especially the Pictlings, who have always been very receptive to us. Star so, under assault. yeah, we'll see about that. For now, we're just backing off. We're grouping up our forces, and that's going to be very necessary. Now, I do want to reinforce these fleets. Apparently, they're at full strength. That's fine. Let's just hit that button there. And that said that no fleets are in need of reinforcements, that is definitely untrue. For the record. <laughs> we know that because of our alloy count issue. That's been an ongoing complaint of mine here. So at this point, I'm going to put in another generator district over here. Competitive station engaged. And we're just going to fight through Teropia. And now that that is gone, we are not going to leave people defending Vernier. I don't know if they're going to try to come through this wormhole. They might. But for right now, we're going to move back into Wuwei. We need to group up our fleets. That is absolutely the top priority. We're just backing off for right now, and we're waiting for Starbase a... Well, under assault. Our, our first mission here is literally just group our fleets. So we're going to head down over here. We're going to grab all of these guys. We're going to group up in, for now, I think actually Utah. So we're going to get all of those in there. That's fine. And which side do we feel is weaker? this side it's this flank that's weaker okay so with that being the case we're going to get all of these guys headed over towards Revok for right now we're going to focus our power and we're going to knock them out of this area attempting what we're to attempting to do here market. is Station we are attempting to force a piece in our favor and yeah, they're going to attack Pulbank here. Star they will win this, assault. for the record. They'll win in Howling Vortex as well. That's okay. For the moment, we're not too concerned about that. Interdimensional trade is increasing. Okay, sure. New physics insight technology. And keep in mind, we also have our mega structure over here, giving us 15% research speed plus 300 in each category. That is basically a full third of our physics research right there. A little over, maybe? Maybe a little over. Planetary market secured. Okay, so we got that location. Are these fully occupied now? Yes. So we're going to land here in Rillis. That will go almost instantly. We have lost a star base. 
And yes, we are going to lose star bases down here, but we're gaining up over here. So that's great. Attempting to acquire planet. So that's immediately market. ours. We're going to take Sarish now. And that will be immediately ours as well. Station under assault. Oh, actually, they did manage Attempting to get to in Occupier Army market. there. So that's fine. That'll take a little bit then. Are they moving north into Revok right now? They Star are. How are assault. we doing on our fleets making their way over? It's going to take some time. I want to have everyone just be in orbit of the Hyper Relay right now. Okay. We have lost a starbase. So that's okay. And yeah, we know that we're going to lose star bases over here. This was our shipyard, which is slightly obnoxious, but we'll get back to that. They're very strong over here right now. Um, oh, we're at 9.2k. It must have automatically canceled what we had queued up here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's reasonably fine. We're going to hit the reinforce fleet button. That's okay. Are we out of probably a bit low on volatile moats? That's fine. Planetary so they're moving secured. in over here. We have three fleets here right now. With more on the way, do we feel like we can win this? Is the question. Research actualized. If we lose Revok, what is the downside? That's the question that we need to be asking right now. And I think for the moment, um, a station upkeep and resources from orbital stations. Let's actually grab that. For the moment, the, that question is a very important one. They have another 50k on the way in here. We lose access to pass through here. Which I think is fine. We're going to retreat to the Rebellion Vortex for right now. I want all of these guys to park at the... If I can have them selected and go in at the same time. I want these guys to park at the Hyper Relay for right now. And I want you guys to park at the Hyper Relay as well. We need to wait for additional forces to make their way in here. Is what this needs to be. We need to group up additional forces here or let them split up. That is another potential opportunity there. So these guys are out of here. Star We're backing off again. Assault. And for the time being, this is reasonably fine. We're going to group up in the Rebellion Vortex. And then we're going to attack the Revic system. We have lost a starbase. Yes, we fully expect to have lost that. We have these fleets on their way in right now. We're expecting these guys to arrive here in 44 days. So that's not so bad. Are they moving into the Rebellion Vortex right now? They're heading over towards Fear Mathrios. So the planned swarm is over here, right? And that's fine. Now we are going to run out of energy credits very, very shortly here. We do need to do something about that. I'm going to sell off some food to keep us afloat for a while. Energy credits with losing Revok, that makes things a lot tougher for us and being attacked out over here too. Like, this is rough. There's no doubt about it. We're going to be able to start fighting back fairly soon, though. What is their plan here? Station under assault. Starbase under assault. Are they moving up to Tatanga? I'm not sure what their plan is. They're moving into Ethos over here, and they're probably just going to bombard an Ethos Prime, base. which is fine. I'm not too concerned about that over here for now. Okay, so are all of our fleets here I'm other than planned? Yes. So what do we want to do about this? They have a huge force concentration in both of these areas. They are ignoring these areas. Now, I want to bring these guys back over towards Nightbirth. I'd like to launch an attack in here. The question is, do we think we can win it? It all depends on timing. We are not at this jump point. Let's go on in. We're going to let them bypass here. 
and we're going to cut them off. That's the idea. So for now, these guys are going to head into Revok as well. We're going to group up like that. We're ignoring this side at this moment. Now, should we ignore this side? Probably not. Definitely not. But for the time being, this is okay. So we're going to move through. Station and are we going to catch assault. any of this? Um, a little Colonial bit, actually. Enterprise we upsizing. are going to catch a little bit here. I think. Competitive yep. station engaged. They're caught. Beautiful. So we're going to fight them. Are these guys coming back? Fleet asset lost. It does look like they are. But we caught these guys out. That station is down. Research actualized. And these guys are caught separately. Now, they're going to bring reinforcements in. Ooh, a Titan just popped in. Cool. Okay, so we win that. We're going to backtrack back to this station. Are they on their way in from Tatanga? They have to be, right? Yeah, and what is their actual strength here? Call it 150. We have more than that. Especially with these guys on their way in. This seems okay. Competitors engaged. Cool. So we're going to fight these guys here. And this is a big fight, right? We're going to turn on our edicts for this. Absolutely. Exotic gases for shield boost, ammunition, explosives, reactive armor, and focusing crystals. Boom. That gives us a big, big boost to our ship power. And we are going to start tearing into these guys. We have reinforcements on the way. Reinforcements actually just popped into the system over here. They are going to come up here and fight. Come directly up here. Are we going to take losses? Absolutely. But so are they. They're going to take big losses here, actually. We Fleet should win this. Lost. I want to check in over here. Okay, they have armies heading up this way. That's very rude of them. But for now, this fight in Revac is okay. Cool. We're cleaning them up here. We don't have an engineering research going right now. Advanced afterburners sounds really, really good. We'll get that going. Research actualized. And any moment now, we'll finish off that battleship. There we go. So this battle is now officially over. We are going to move down and attack Pulban Kir again. I'm ignoring Tatanga for the moment. I don't think they have that claimed. This, we're also ignoring for the moment. We will get back to it, but for now, we're ignoring that. Let's see here. We could go for... I don't want to grab the sentry array. I want to grab something that will help us with these immediate battles. And there isn't all that much here, is there? I guess we can grab phase disruptors. And I'd like to go into... Do we have any ships under construction right now? Cruisers, Titans, and that's it. Okay, so that's fine for now. I want to go into our ship designer. I want to go to our battleships, and I want to drop these in favor of kinetic batteries. Boom. These are going to go over to being gamma lasers like that for now, and we'll do that. For our Titans, we can't actually change any of these right now because we do have Titans being built. And we do see that they have a little bit of fleet power over here, but that should be okay. We're going to run out of Volatile Moats very, very soon. We should definitely turn off our Edicts. There we go. And that was a big battle for us, right? Now, that did put us at 45% exhaustion, but that put them at 14%. So that's good. And we've got all of this under our control at this point. This is mostly under our control. I want to move our army through here. Can we attack either of these? 491 and 0. So yes, we can attack one of them. 
And we're going to head on over and land on Sharomouth. There we go. For now, this will hold, we hope. I mean, they can always attack this. But for now, it'll do. And we're going to head down to Pulbankir. And we're going to get this back under our control. Are they retreating or are they trying to hold here? Because we want them to be caught here. And they are caught. So that's beautiful. We're going to fight them. And we're fighting them relatively away from the station as well. So that's looking good. We'll win this battle. And uh, we should definitely hit this reinforced fleet button. So much for our alloys. We already knew that. And yeah, we'll take this station back. No problem. Beautiful. So we're kicking them out of this sector for now. Do we care about Thuravia and Nabriri? I mean, yes. So I'm going to grab the Able Swarm here, and we're going to go grab that, and then head back to Pulbankir. Everyone else that is here other than the Able Swarm... And what is the Ready Swarm? That's just a Corvette. That can go almost anywhere. Okay, uh, this is probably fine. So anything other than the Able Swarm is going to start heading out over this direction, towards Omagas. So they have a lot up in... Actually, that's not that bad. That's less bad than I thought it was up here. Now, I think they're attacking Ethos, right? They are. They might not actually win that. I don't think they're going to win that. I mean, that's cool. Competitive station engaged. We'll see if they do. It looks like they're focusing in over on this side right now. And that's reasonably expected. So we're going to make our way back and continue to reinforce our fleets as quickly as we can. We're going to grab Theravia and Abriri. Once we're done there, we're going to head over to Omagus. The uh, Able Swarm is going to be a little bit behind. No doubt about that. Okay. Do we have any available jobs right now? This Agra world has two available. We're back up to plus 363 energy credits, so that's not that big of a deal. I think we're going to put in an industrial district here. This Forge world is being attacked, of course. It is looking good for us here. It really is. This Agra world is, I think, needing another industrial district. We'll put that in. This tech world... I'm going to do an industrial district. We really need more alloys. So we're going to get that underway. Winning this battle over here was actually huge. There is these guys here. Maybe we should have this fleet go up to Tatanga for now engaged. and then just kind of hang out in this area. The question is, how much can we get this reinforced? Oh, this habitat is finally done. Okay. Uh, we could colonize that, but I think our al it's 180 alloys. What is the price of alloys right now? Very high. Okay. I'm going to do it. It's only 180. So we'll get those underway. That's fine. If we were to status quo piece right now, which they would not accept, they would end up getting Amara, Howling Vortex, and Asanas. So they would just get these three over here. And of course, we would end up getting everything here that we lost in the last war. And everything, well, we would get Fact. But I don't think we get Bazanak. Yeah, not yet. So that'll require a little bit more work. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of additional clone armies here. Yeah, I think we can afford that. So I'm going to buy in some minerals. We're going to do an army builder here. We're going to do clone armies. And I wish the tooltip told us which of these were good to do. But whatever. We're going to build... All of those. Beautiful. Okay. So that's looking good. Yeah, we have these construction ships over here idling. For right now, there's not too much we can do about that. So they're moving forces over this way. There's also the Manticore's Terrors moving through here. I, I don't know why. But whatever. They're bringing in additional army. And that's probably because they're losing this. Like, they straight up lost Hostile that. Market forces have been so we're going to regenerate our garrisons here. 
Now, they are bombarding this. And they're bombarding it heavily. But we're making our way in. I do want to continue to reinforce our fleets. We know that we're going to need more. And that's looking reasonable for right now. We need to cut off their flow through Howling Vortex, right? That is a very, very high priority. And that's exactly what we're going to look to do. They don't have any forces directly down here to stop us. So we need to cut off their flow of forces here. Absolutely. Research actualized. What is the strength? 367 and 110. They need to get all of these through, and I'm not sure that they have the time. That Commencing said, this bombardment is definitely asset. hurting. Okay, so there's advanced afterburners done. We can, from here, grab something along the lines of battleship build cost and build speed. I feel like that would be really good. I also want to go into our ship designer and swap our corvettes over from using afterburners to using advanced afterburners, capping us at 90. But we are currently building corvettes. Two of them. Okay, we'll wait until those are done. They're almost done here. Was it that month kick? Okay, now they're done. Now we can save that, and our Corvettes are now... Future built Corvettes are going to be using those. Beautiful. We'll continue to reinforce our fleets, and we're heading on in over here. Competitors engaged. Now we're going to be fighting these guys. This is completely fine. Completely and totally. Some of their transport fleets did move through, and that is enough to take out our planet here, especially with that bombardment. It's unfortunate, but it is true. Okay, so we've taken this over. The question now is 491. Okay. I want to check in here. This is only 23. We're moving additional armies in over here, but they're not in position yet. Okay. So we're taking over Howling Vortex. That's not a problem. Competitive station we eliminate engaged. all of this with no issues. Unfortunately, they are going to invade Ethos, but we should be able to get that, that back under our control reasonably easily. Howling Vortex is going to fall here shortly. And I think from here, we're going to take the Able Swarm and tell it, come on over to Howling Vortex. I know it'll take you some time to get here, but head over. Hostile agents inbound. Okay, so they're going to land on Ethos fully expected. We do see some of their forces in Dorful. And I kind of want to fight them there. We know a lot of their forces are up here. But I want to come in over here if we can. I'm not sure if we can catch them, but we can at least delay them by taking over this starbase. Oh, they're coming right in over here and they're damaged as well. Now we're damaged too, to be clear. Engaged. But we're not as damaged. We'll easily win this. Research and we're actually actualized. tying these guys up over here. Which is intriguing. Fleet asset with lost. our reinforcements there. We're going to take some losses with that. Absolutely. But excellent. We're continuing to stream in reinforcements. And there we go. There's another victory for us. That's great. Now we need to move in... Probably back to Howling Vortex and try to get some repairs. We need to continue to reinforce our fleets. We need like 30,000 alloys to get fully rebuilt. That's not so bad. Okay. We can definitely handle that. Phase Disruptors finished. Sure. Sapient Combat AI is a potential option here. Take it. Our tech is definitely getting a lot better. The question is, do we have the forces to win this? Obviously, they're going to full full occupy Ethos, right? There's no question about that. We have these guys on their way over-ish. 426. Yeah, we just can't land here. I wish we could have this station bombard. <laughs> Alas, we cannot do that. So we see a few ships over here in Carathor. For now, that's fine. We're just going to get some repairs done at Howling Vortex. Station under assault. Starbase so that'll under be fine. Assault. We're actually doing okay we as far as our repairs base. go. 
And they're they're actually pushing on to Vinjin. Interesting. Vinjim is quite strong. 1603. They're going to have a hard time working their way through that. So let's get these repairs done. I think we've got time for that. And we're bringing these reinforcements in. Now there's no movement out over here or up here at this moment. I'm going to bring these transport ships. I, I want to grab all of our transport ships that we have here. Merge them all together. We're going to come out over this way, and we're going to enter orbit over Gallibury. Cool. Okay, so our fleets are nearly done repairing. We do see them gathering forces in Carathor. I'm Colonial not too concerned about that. Upsizing. We definitely want to continue to reinforce our fleets. And we're going to go hit Amara. And that'll be fine. Do they have claims up that far? Asanis? So that's this here. They get Amara and Asanis. They don't actually have claims on Ethos. So them holding this is actually irrelevant. Fascinating. Oh, you're going that route. Okay, I guess that makes sense, Colonial taking this game Enterprise upsizing. Sure, as long as it's faster, I'm okay with that. So we're attacking Amara here. We're going to get our shipyard back. This is no major deal here. Looks good. And the question is, do we think we can take this on? And honestly, I think we can. So we're going to continue to push on into Ethos. And they should be bombarding at Vinjim, right? Yeah, they're bombarding here. That's going to take them a while. I do think we can take this on. So we're going to hit Ethos. In the meantime, we have more reinforcements streaming in. What can you offer us? Plus five energy credits? Do it. Okay. So that sounds good. We'll continue to reinforce. What is the current price of alloys? Ten? Yeah, that's pretty high. I guess I'm not surprised considering the war is going on right now. So we're going to eliminate this station, of course. No problem there. What do they have building up here? It is definitely building in terms of fleet power, but that's taking them a while. Engaged. Hang on a moment. They're attacking us in Ethos? This is a mistake, I think. I don't think they should have done this. At any rate, we definitely turn on our edicts here. Focusing crystals, all of our volatiles, shield boost. We're all together here. We already eliminated the station. And here they come. I thought that we could defeat them without all of these bonuses. Fleet asset lost. But this should be fine. I think. Yeah, they only have the two particularly strong fleets, right? Mm, I guess three. Fleet this fleet held lost. back. This is a this is a big battle here. This is a really big battle. And I'm honestly unsure who's winning. We have reinforcements flowing in all the time. I think they're winning. Very slightly. I'm pretty sure. But, man, that's a huge battle. So, yeah, they're definitely winning this a little bit. But we're fighting this to the bitter end. I keep hoping we, we see more reinforcements Research coming in. Actualized. Sadly, we didn't. But we really damaged them. Here's a question. Do they have the capability right now to attack Howling Vortex? I'm not sure they do. I think we're going to retreat these. I don't want to lose the Titans. 
So I think we'll do that. And of course, we're at 100% war exhaustion from that. And that's to be expected, all things considered. So overall, I think that went reasonably okay. We are going to need to tick forward until our fleets come back. And when will they come back? Okay, just a couple of months here. And this fleet is still in Dorful, so we can still defend Howling Vortex. And make sure that they can't pass through there. Yeah, they group together and they have under 50k now, in terms of strength. So technically we did lose that battle. And that was definitely painful. And we ran out of volatile moats, okay, yeah. That is probably why we lost the battle, actually. So that was definitely painful, no doubt about that. We've got these guys here, and we're going to need to wait here until our forces start to come back. They will be back actually in one month here. Cool. So they can't attack Howling Vortex, right? In fact, they're just sitting here. So this is cool. We're going to get some of our forces back here. And let's see here, 1030, 223, 321. Yeah, that doesn't assault. seem too bad. So I'm going to move these guys all over to Howling Vortex. We're going to enter orbit and get repairs there. And then these guys, I'm just going to move them into the second fleet and we'll hit our reinforced fleet button. 44,000 is what we need. Okay, that sounds good. And what do we actually have here for fleet strength? That's not so bad. Cool. And we still have two more fleets that we're waiting on. They're a couple months out, but that should be fine. I just looked at the clock and realized it's time to put a cut in here. I got kind of engrossed in that. We also see them attacking Pulban here again. That's unsurprising. We're going to get them kicked out of here, and uh, then we'll head over and deal with this. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. Also, our ships are, uh, our, our armies that we sent over to Galibury. They're there. So I'm actually ordering them to, to do that landing right now. Hopefully that goes well. 646 versus 491, so maybe a bit spicy. We'll see. See you all next time.